Hi, I'm Samantha McDouglas from TheBridgeTeachers.com. Come look over my shoulder at a bidding problem. Our right-hand opponent was a dealer in past. We opened one heart. Our left-hand opponent bid two diamonds. Our partner passed. Our right-hand opponent passed. And now it is our turn to bid. Should we bid? Yes, you absolutely should bid. When we play bridge, we want to have fun. That is very, very important. But we also want to win. We want to do as well as we can. And when you win, you do so by getting more points than the opponent. So when you look at this situation here, let's say that the opponents can make two diamonds and we can make two hearts. When the opponents bid and make two diamonds, they're going to gain 90 points which means we lose 90 points. If we bid and make two hearts, we gain 110 points. So instead of losing 90 points, we gain 110. This is actually a gain of 200 points because instead of losing 90, you're gaining 110. So if you wanna win, just passing here is not a good idea. Brian actually tells his students never to pass when the opponents are playing a contract that is below two neutral. I think that's a little extreme. There certainly are times where it is appropriate to pass when the opponents are playing below two neutral. But I, what I love about that is that he's not saying that it's always right to bid. What he's saying is you have to be in that mindset. You have to be thinking, you know what, they're playing really cheaply. I need to see what I can do to get in there. Can I make something? Can I get in there and make something? Or you know what, if I bid, maybe they'll go higher and they'll go down. Or even if I go down one, that'll be a better exchange than them they're making their contract. So you, you need to have something to bid, but you also want to push. You don't want to be crazy, but if you have a good bid, you want to make it. And you want to be looking for that bid. And sometimes you kind of want to like push just a little bit. Maybe you have 11 points and you need 12 to make the bid you're thinking about. Go ahead and push that one point. Maybe you need five of a suit, but you only have four, but they're really nice. Go ahead and push a little. So what we're trying to do is not just sell out to these low level contracts, but push just a little so that we have the chance to get points and take points away from the opponents, or at least reduce the number of points that we're going to lose. On this hand, we definitely want to bid because we have a really nice hand. So even if you weren't thinking, oh, I'm going to push because this is that situation that Brian is always talking about where I can't let the opponents play so low, you would normally bid here anyway because you have such a nice hand. And again, it goes back to why let the opponents bid and make two diamonds when we have the potential to make something on our own. So in this case, we should definitely bid. What are we going to bid? We're going to double. This is a reopening double. So when opener opens, something happens, and now opener makes a double, we call it reopening because they're opening the auction. So the auction would close. If we passed, it would be over. Contract would be two diamonds. We are opening the auction again by making the double. And essentially what it is is it's just a takeout double. We're saying we're short in diamonds. We have support for the other three suits. Partner, please pick one of the other three suits. We also tend to show a good hand. The more shape you have, the less strength you need. But usually this should be around 15 or 16 points. It should be a good hand. Now our opponent is going to bid, but so is our partner. This is going to be a very different result. Letting the opponent play two diamonds versus us playing three spades. So let's look and see how we did. East-West pairs who got to play in diamonds on average made three. They lost one diamond trick, a spade trick, and two heart tricks. So if we'd let them play two or three diamonds, this would have been 110 points that we would have lost. North-South pairs who were in spades did much better. If the defense defends perfectly, they can take three club tricks and a diamond trick, holding us to three spades. But we are making three spades, which is 140 points. So instead of losing 110 points, 
we've gained 140. It is so, so, so important to bid here and not just let the opponents play two diamonds. And if they bid over you, if they bid four diamonds over you, and they go down, you're still gaining 50 points instead of losing 110. It is really important when the opponents are going to play a contract that is below two no trump that you stop and think, is there something I can bid here? Do I have a bid that is going to describe my hand to allow me to compete so that instead of just losing that 110 points by letting them play two diamonds, I either get my own score by playing two or three spades, or I push them so high that they go down. Really important thing to be thinking about, and the reopening double is a great tool to help get us back into this auction. Thank you.